Tonight, new details in the death of Mahogany Jackson, six of the eight suspects in court today. Thank you so much for joining us here at six. I'm Brittany Decker. I'm Guy Rawlings. We've been following the Mahogany Jackson case. Uh, WVTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn live and local in Birmingham tonight outside the Jefferson County Courthouse. A lot of the details too gruesome to talk about, Aaron. Yeah, Guy, Brittany, the hearing today lasted for about three hours and the legal teams went through the details of what led up to Mahogany Jackson's death and even uncovered some new details about her final moments and some of it was too unbearable for her family to hear. Now, today we know that the defense attorneys claim that Jackson was at one of the suspects house, Brandon Pope, and questioned him about a gun that she says was stolen and money that was also stolen from her, po her purse at some point throughout uh, the, the day. She even made him strip to prove he didn't have it. Now Pope told, Pope told Harris to do something to her because she made him strip. Now the detectives working the case say uh, Jackson was assaulted multiple times throughout the time she was being held against her will. Now both Jackson and some of the suspect's families were in the courtroom today for the detailed hearing, some of it becoming emotional. Now District Attorney Danny Carr says her family might be disappointed some of the charges were reduced or thrown out, but they are one step closer to justice. They understand the circumstances, but they also appreciate uh, what we have in front of us. And um, they understand that this is a marathon and not a sprint. Um, there's still a lot of work ahead of us. And, um, you know, we'll be there with them every step of the way and make sure that there's accountability. Now, later in the day before Jackson died, she was put in Harris's car and he, Pope and McDowell took her to clean Harris's car out. Even though the defense claims Harris said they were taking her back to her house. That's when Harris is accused of pulling the trigger and shooting Jackson in the back of the head. Now, District Attorney Danny Carr calls this one of the most gruesome murders he's ever seen. Since I've been in his office, I've had some, yes. Um, um, the, some of y'all may be, uh, I was young too at the time, but the um, Thanksgiving homicide at the Airport Inn Hotel where three people were brutally murdered in the Airport Inn Hotel on Thanksgiving morning. I actually handled that case and tried it myself. That was a very brutal case. Um, this one, unlike that one, the brutality kind of played itself out in real time because it's video. there's a video involved. Now this case is still being investigated, so new details could emerge in the coming days. And the things that are still being investigated are rape kits and ballistic results. Now the two other suspects in this case are expected to be back in court for the same hearing on Monday. For now, we're live in Birmingham. Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.